Good morning, Athens. I'm Mae Tipton. I'm Bailey Ballard. And, and welcome, welcome to ATV News. News. Fall sports are winding down while winter sports are ramping up. Girls basketball tryouts start October 30th and go through November 1st. They're from 2.30 to 4.30 in the upper gym. Please see Coach Stevenson in the main office if you have any questions and bring your A-game. Last week was Spirit Week and there were a ton of fun events happening around the drive. Here's Bailey Ballard and Sierra Patterson with a recap. From a boxing match between two familiar faces to jumping hurdles to hitting the mark, straight from Greece, this year's theme was Athens Olympics, and each class was able to create their own section in the hallway. Freshmen had archery, complete with bows and a ginormous arrow hanging from the ceiling. As for why Mr. Romali and Miss Lassiter were boxing, it's because that was the sophomore's Olympic event. Famous gymnasts Sunisa Lee and Simone Biles leaped onto the scene in the juniors' gymnastics display. And last but not least, the seniors had golden trophies and hurdles for runners to either jump or fall over. Track was, of course, their theme. But the decorations were only part of the spirit. Lots of students dressed up. Tuesday was red, white, and blue day. The Jags got to show off their American spirit. My favorite theme from Spirit Week was Red, White, and Blue Day because it was really unique to see everyone's different outfits. And then um, I participated because I think it's fun to show school spirit. Well, I'm a huge New York Giants fan, and these are red, white, and blue colors, so why not? One of the most popular days of any Spirit Week is Jersey Day. I am representing the Miami Dolphins. You can see the little dolphin logo on here. I'm representing baseball. It's the Chicago Cubs jersey. I'm originally from Chicago, so that's why I'm a Cubs fan. Thursday, students got to show off their class colors with class t-shirt day. Um, I want to have fun with all my friends and just be matching. Um, the spirit weeks are fun, and it gives me a chance to dress up and wear something different. Friday was blue and orange day to prepare for the pep rally and to support our football team against Brighton. Uh, my favorite theme from Spirit Week was Pajama Day because there was no school. You only get like three Spirit Weeks, so you might as well participate. Like, also, you, it plans your outfits for you. It's just a fun way to enjoy my senior year, and I am glad to see other people enjoying it the same way. It was amazing to see how creative the Jags got with their outfits, and we can't wait to see what they have in store for future events. For ATV News, I'm Bailey Ballard and Sierra Patterson. Friday was an ideal fall weather day. Beautiful blue skies, temps in the 70s, perfect timing for the fall pep rally. Check out these highlights. The band impressed us with their booming skills while the cheerleaders showed us their funky moves. Fall sports showed up and showed out representing the drive here at Athens. Up next, our homecoming court impressed us with their performances from Fighting Gnomes. To scoring touchdowns. In the end, Abdel Amra was runner up and Andy Ivanov was the crown king. At our first homecoming dance in years, Ann Woodall was the runner up and Susan McGraw was the crowned queen. Congrats to all! What a great time! And if you missed the dance, Susan McGraw was crowned homecoming queen. Now's the time during ATV where we take a look back and find out what happened on this day in history. Here's Sierra Patterson. Today in 1881, Pablo Picasso was born. Picasso was a famous painter, most notably in the 1920s at the start of his neoclassicism and surrealism period. Unlike most artists, Picasso had many periods such as synthetic cubism, blue period, and African art. Some of his most famous work were the old guitars, the soup, and the weeping woman. Picasso passed away in 1973 with over 45,000 unsold works. For ATV News, I'm Sarah Patterson. Thanks, Sierra. Okay, that's enough about Athens for now. Let's see what the latest updates are in the pop culture world. Here's Enza Moscatello. Welcome back to our beloved series, What's Trending? This week, we're talking about some of the controversial conversations surrounding the movie adaptation of the Broadway musical Wicked, which will hit theaters next month. When the film's poster was initially released, many diehard Wicked fans took it upon themselves to make it more accurate to the original Broadway poster. However, this led Cynthia Erivo, who will play Alphabet, to express her concerns about artistic erasure due to fans editing the cover. Should fans be allowed to have fun editing the art, or should they just leave it alone? Don't ask me, it's 8 in the morning. For What's Trending, I'm Enzo Moscatello. That's all we have for today. See you next time on, on ATV, ATV News. News.